another video here on our channel. Um, today we're going to be doing a fun little project for some friends. Uh, a friend of mine reached out and she wanted to um, refinish a whiskey barrel for her husband um, to kind of have as a, a liquor cabinet. Um, so today we're going to be kind of breaking this down, sanding it down, making it look real good. We're going to be cutting in a couple of doors um, so it's more as a cabinet rather than just a, a tabletop. Um, and then we'll be um, kind of cleaning up the metal a little bit. We'll be uh, putting a, a stain and a sealant on all of the wood to make it look uh, really nice. And um, this is a new project for me, so I'm not exactly sure how it will turn out, but I'm sure we can figure out how to make it look real nice. So I've got the barrel here. Um, we picked this up from a local uh, shop just really close by. They're a reclaiming shop. They get old products and re um, resell them to people to use kind of recycled materials. Um, so I picked up the barrel. I've got an extra lid or a head, which I'm going to use as a shelf inside once we get it all cut out. Um, and then I got a couple of extra bands as well. And those are just for kind of some finish work. Um, I think I'll need a band on the inside to kind of hold the doors together. So that's all for that. Uh, so how this project is going to start, I'm going to start sanding down um, the outside, getting off some of the stains on it that have, um, you can tell there's some leaks maybe either from this barrel or from another barrel. Uh, so we'll clean all that up, we'll clean up the metal, um, and that's probably all we'll do tonight. Tomorrow we'll uh, look to start um, cutting the doors open, getting all the bands set in place where they need to be before we go through and stain the whole thing. So for now, start sanding things. So to start out, we're going to be cleaning up the metal. Um, I'm going to use some paint scrapers. If I had a chisel, I'd probably use that. Um, and I'm just going to kind of scrape off some of this rust that's on the outside, the big chunks of rust. I'm okay with it being uh, pretty rustic, but at the same time, I don't want big chunks of rust that are then going to continue to rust uh, a lot. So we'll clean that up a little bit, clean up all the metal. I'll go through afterwards with a uh, 400 grit sandpaper and just kind of lightly clean that up. I don't want to get it completely down to bare metal. Um, like I said, I kind of want to keep that rustic feel. So clean up those bands first, um, and then we'll get to sanding. Remember when you're working with stuff like this, whether you're sanding wood or you're sanding metal, um, you definitely want to keep eye protection, and I'll probably put on a respirator at some point as well um, to make sure I'm keeping my lungs healthy. But you don't want to get a chunk of metal or rust in your eye. Um, it's never fun, and it's kind of a pain to clean it out. methods here to clean up the metal around the barrel. Um, I started using this steel wool and that worked pretty good to get some big good chunks off. Um, I think it did a good job. I, I then used this 400 grit sandpaper. Um, it worked okay. I don't think uh, it was really that effective. It, it did help clean it up a little bit but and I'm sure you could spend a lot of time doing it by hand. Um, you could probably put some 400 grit sandpaper on an orbital sander or a belt sander and that would do the trick as well. But the thing I found that worked the best was actually a um, wire cup for a drill. And I was able to just go right along with that, clean it up real quick. It's rough enough that it takes any big chunks off, but it's soft enough that it's not going to like take it all down to bare metal. 
Um, I wanted to leave character, even a little bit of rust was okay with me. Uh, if I would have just been down to plain shiny metal, I don't think it would have looked as good as leaving some of that on there. I wanted to have character, and I think that's the result that I've ended up with by using this wire cup. It's a wire brush cup. Um, I got this at Harbor Freight for a few dollars. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, next up on the list is to sand down the wood. I'm going to make sure not to sand the lid here because I really like the print that's on it from High West Distillery, which is up in Park City, Utah. Uh, it's a local brewery or a local distillery, so I, I want to leave that because I think uh, my friends will really enjoy having kind of a local taste to it. Um, but I will be taking the sander um, and maybe some hand sanding as well. Well, if I need to, I'll bust out the belt sander. Um, but I will be sanding down all of this wood. Um, I wanted to leave a little bit of character where the belts are at, so I'm not going to remove the belts. Uh, and I'll leave a little bit along there. Again, this is not going to be perfect. I want to leave some character. So it's going to have some dark spots. It's going to have some wear and some divots in it. Um, and that's totally okay because I think it will look really good when it's all done. So I'm going to start with a 60 grit sandpaper. I've got a few other grits that are a little finer, all the way up to about 160 or 180. So I'll work my way up to those as I need. But I'm going to start with the 60 grit and we'll see what it looks like. project. Um, had a lazy weekend, but now it's time to get back to it to make sure it's done in time for Christmas. So next step, I'm going to be using these little um, pan head screws. Uh, I got sheet metal screws so that they can um, go through this metal, the metal bands. And I'm going to be putting a screw in every band through every stave. And that's just to hold the whole thing together since I'm going to be cutting chunks of it out for a door. So that's the next step. Hopefully I have enough, um, I might run short. I have a hundred screws, so six bands. Hopefully uh, I might be short. So unfortunately during this part of the video my uh, microphone wasn't working but what I'm explaining here is that I finished sanding everything up, everything's prepped, I'm now cutting out the door, um, I have all the screws in the metal bands that go around the barrel. To cut out the door I'm using an angle grinder uh, with a cutoff blade to cut through the bands. Once I cut through the bands I just need to cut two horizontal cuts um, to cut out the door and then the staves come right out. Uh, I made sure to have the staves and the band 
the metal bands screwed together um, so that when the door comes out it didn't all fall apart and uh, that seemed to do the trick. which looks really great. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the cut. I think the jigsaw was the way to go. Um, I did get a little bit off in one spot, but not to worry, I'll be able to sand that down. And um, I need a little bit of a gap anyway to be able to shim up the door and make sure it's not getting caught when, it, when um, I put the hinges on. But it is pretty charred and a lot of stuff is falling off as I brush it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a wire brush to it um, with my drill, uh, a cup brush, and, and get that cleaned up a little bit just so stuff isn't flaking off. Um, I'm also going to let this air out a little bit so it's not quite as strong. Um, I don't want the, my friends to be opening the door and just get blasted with a, a smell of whiskey. Um, if it's a slight smell, I think that's great, but we'll leave the door off now for a few days to let it kind of air out a little bit. So we've got the door all cut out. We're ready to uh, stain it, almost. Um, first, I, when I cut the door out, it kind of bowed out a little bit. I think the pressure um, of the uh, bands on here kind of pushed it out and just kind of, it had been compressed by those bands. And, and so when that released, kind of everything cinched out a little bit. Um, so because of that, I put a uh, ratchet strap on here to cinch it back down to where it needs to go. Now it fits perfectly in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get one of these other steel bands that I purchased, and I'm going to use it on the inside to kind of help everything stay together. I'm hoping that works. I'll put screws on the outside first, and then on the inside to kind of help suck everything together. So I'll need to cut these bands down to size, get them screwed in, and then before I go through and stain everything, I'll be um, going through with my grinder and with a file and filing off any sharp edges on this, uh, on these steel bands. So that's what we're doing next. And then as soon as we're finished with that, we will um, clean everything off with a tack cloth, get all the dust off of there, and throw our stuff off. Okay, so everything's cleaned up, all the hardware's on, all of the new metal straps are on like the door. Uh, so now it's time to stain. I'm going to use a tack cloth now to get any dust and any uh, excess stuff off. Once I'm finished with that, I will be applying this um, Minwax wood finish. Uh, it's the Provincial 211 color. Um, another YouTuber I watched suggested this color, so I'm going to be trying that. I'll be testing out a little portion of the door first just to make sure it looks okay um, and then I'll go ahead and apply it the whole thing if it looks good. I'll be using these paint and cleaning rags to apply it. Um, when I finish with that, I'll let it dry. I might do another coat. We'll see how it looks. Um, then I'll let it dry completely before we put on a sealant and I'll show you that in a little bit.
so we've now applied all of our stain to the barrel. It's been a whole day now. Uh, I let it dry overnight with the heater on it. It's looking really great. I love the way it looks. Um, so now we're going to be applying the polycrylic top coat. Uh, this is really just going to make it look nice, stay nice. It's kind of going to seal it up. This guy's joining me today. So we're going to paint it on with the brush. It goes on kind of milky, um, but it dries up crystal clear. Uh, after I put that on, we'll let it dry for a couple of hours. I'll come back, I'll sand it with a fine grit sandpaper, like a 220, just a, a real light sand. And then I'll be applying three coats throughout the day with the same process. Besides the last coat, we'll just stay as is. Um, after that's all done, we'll let it dry for a few hours and I will start putting the hardware on, getting the door on, and hopefully we'll have this done by tomorrow morning. So that's the process now. Um, I'm gonna go put this guy down and then uh, we'll start taking this stuff on. also finished with a sealant. Uh, I put three coats of the sealant on between each coat. I did a light sand with a 220 grit sandpaper and I think it turned out really good. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is install the shelf in the barrel. Once the shelf is installed then we'll be mounting the door. We'll be using some shims to shim the door up. We'll put the uh, hinges on and then a handle and maybe a little magnetic piece to help the door stay shut. And with that, we'll be wrapping up the project. some issues um, putting the hinges on but I um, figured that out at first I was going to use strap hinges across the front here but it just wasn't working out because of the concave of the door um, so instead I installed normal door hinges and just had to lay them in and get them lined up straight so they're actually in a straight line down and they don't follow the curve of the barrel at all um, so that worked out really well the door opens great um, I did have to shave some off the top of the door just to get everything to fit right. Um, if I were to do it again, I would probably want to make sure I cinch the door down a little tighter um, because when I cut the door out, it actually bumped out a little bit. I tried to bend it in, but I didn't do quite enough. So there is a little bit of a lip here. Um, I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. Um, but yeah, I really love the way it turned out. The stain looks great. The uh, polycrylic seal we put on it turned out really good. Um, and I'm just hopeful that uh, the client and uh, my friend really enjoy how it looks. So that pretty much wrapped, wraps up this project. If you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, please let us know in the comments. Give us a like. Please subscribe. Um, it's been a great year for our YouTube channel. It's been really fun. And we're excited about next year, about going camping, you know, our building projects, uh, everything that we've been showing on this channel. Uh, love to share with you guys so uh, we'll see you soon have a great new year and we'll uh, see you in the next one